Hello there, welcome to my cha 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 channel. So today I'm reviewing this is the second time reviewing the snack crate. We just got through reviewing the Christmas one, and now reviewing this one, and it's from Poland. Poland. And he's gonna read the descriptions. I should have got the steering wheel. We normally have a steering wheel tray to put this on. You know what? Let me go get that. All right, I got the steering wheel cover, and I just opened this, and this is the first thing you want to tell them about it. What is that? It looks like bagel. It's hard to say, but it's Weepicarnia bagel. Both nutritious and delicious, these pretzel crackers are topped with sesame, chia, and flax seeds, and sprinkled with a flurry of Provencal herbs. Mm. So it smells like just a small bagel. It smells like um, crouton. Yeah. It tastes like a crouton. That's exactly what it tastes like, like croutons. But I can taste the rosemary. Mm -hmm. Rosemary. This will be good with soup or a salad. But by itself, I don't think I'm going to eat it by itself. Thumbs it's, down. What would you rate it? A 2.2 2 out of 10. Maybe a 3. About a 4 for me. Let me open this one. Alright. What is that? Prince Polo. Prince Polo. If you're Spanish, it's... Prince Polo, but this is from Poland, so. Prince Polo Classic. A true Polish favorite, this delectable treat features layers of crunchy wafer sandwiched together with chocolate cream, then coated in milk chocolate. Mmm. What's the name of that brand? Isn't that the same thing on crackers from like Israel? I don't remember. It reminds me of those um, quadratini, that loker quadratini. They're like um, wafers that are squares, tiny little squares. That's what reminds me of. I like this. I think it'd be good with ice cream, and you can tell the chocolate, it's not high quality chocolate, but I like the fact that it's dark, and I don't know, I just really like it. You can tell the chocolate is not the most, like, best quality, but I really like this for some reason. Yeah, I like it, but not a whole lot, so about 6 out of 10 for me. I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. What's next? That's a Zozoli Rainbow. A snack that is sure to make your pucker up. These bright and intensely sour rainbow gummy ribbons are packed full of wildly fun and fruity flavors. Mm, I'm not, I don't want a lot of it. You want it to split it because I'm not, I don't think I'm gonna. I like sour gums. I wonder if each strand is individually flavor. It's like a band aid. I had these in Germany, but they were, um, they weren't stuck together. They were like like spaghetti looking. And they were way better. They're I pretty like good, them. but... I like sour gummies. 
I don't think they're that sour, though. Do you think they're sour? I don't... I love that. Mm. It's definitely tangy. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, 7 out of 10 for me. Next is, what's that? Princess Zebra. Princess Zebra. The perfect combination of milk and chocolate in every bite. This tasty treat features crisp chocolate wafers held together by a sweet milk cream. So Where another, those gummies another go? wafer. It's here. I was going to hold it back up because I forgot to give it a rating. <laughs> I give it a five. It's okay. Mm. So Princess Zebra. You can already show it to them. So it's another wafer, but just bigger. Doesn't have much smell. The other one smelled like chocolate. This one has a smell. This is more milky. Mm. The first one is more chocolatey. This is more milky. But they're basically the same wafer. Mm. I like this a lot. It's really. The other wafer was is good. Remember, I said it was good. This is extremely light and airy and crisp. More crunchy. This is more crunchy or crunchier than the other one. Really light. Probably because the, airy. Waf the wafers are thinner. I like the cream in here. A lot. Mm. You know, I've had wafers like this in Germany when I was a kid. And we had gelato. Mmm. Yeah, I'll give that an 8. I'm giving this a 9. It's made by Nestle. I'm gonna eat that up later. Next stop. Where is it on there? I don't think it's in here. Is it that one? It's J Jesse Key Classic. Looks like it has hazelnut on it. It's not in here. I just pointed to it. But that's Batten. Oh, is that the same? Oh, they Obviously gave us the wrong folk. one. I don't know. I don't know. So it says, Jeziki Classic. This crunchy cookie bar layers caramel hazelnuts and crispy rice all coated in creamy milk chocolate to satisfy even your most intense cravings. It has puffed rice in it. And there's not much caramel and stuff you can see. It's like a Twix cookie. It's yeah. like a Twix cookie with a very thin caramel and then puffed rice. You know a Twix cookie? Mm -hmm. That's what it reminds me of. So it's a cross between a Twix and a Nestle Crunch. Because it has those... Can I have some more rice? I like just though. Treats. I like rice crispy treats. I like it better than Nestle Crunch. I've never liked Nestle Crunch. I think the chocolate on Nestle Crunch is cheap chocolate. I like that. And um, although I like caramel, I kind of like the fact that there's not much caramel. Yeah, again, it's an 8 out of 10 for me. But it shows hazelnut on the picture. That's hazelnut. Yeah. I'm not getting much of a hazelnut flavor. Mm -mm. You? No. I don't know what hazelnut tastes like. That's the bacon. Next is the Paluski bacon. Or I'm assuming that's bacon. These crunchy pretzel sticks are infused with a savory bacon flavor, making them the perfect accompaniment to a glass of your favorite frosty beverage. Ooh! 
Okay, I smell like fatty, fatty bacon. You know, there's like bacon. I, I know it sounds crazy that like fatty bacon has fat. But have you ever like made bacon or was next to someone that made bacon? There was a lot of fat and you, the grease. I smell like. So it's, it looks like that pocky. Is it pocky? Yeah. But it's a pretzel. That tastes like bacon, but more like stale bacon. You can just taste the the bacon grease. Yeah. The texture is not grease, it's dry like a pretzel, but the flavor. Like the renderings of bacon. You ever like made bacon and drained it? Or like make you know some Mexican restaurants. They, um, the, um, uh, the, the, the beans, they add bacon grease. Yeah. That really strong, like, bacon grease. If you ever had, like, a Mexican restaurant, like, um, what is it? Um, what would you rate it? I like bacon, but this one, it tastes more. I don't like it. I would never get it again. So it's a four out of ten. Mine, I'm like, a 1.5. I wouldn't buy that it, it, if, if I was hungry. I'd rather have a peanut butter plain old peanut butter sandwich. I'd rather have a piece of toast than that. What is that now? Is it even on here? I don't know. Oh, this one. It's per Pyrrhic Circe. Or whatever that is. Made from a recipe that dates back over 700 years. Ooh, this deliciously soft, heart-shaped gingerbread cookie has just the right amount of spice in every bite. It smells good. It looks like Lee Bakugin. Oh, it does. Yeah. I Remember this the Lee last Bukugin. time um, when we did the, the holiday um, snack crate? We got uh, Liebekugeln from Germany. It tastes soapy. Mm. <laughs> I Lieb had to spit that out. Liebekugeln is way better. That tastes like it has soap in it. I'm not even giving that a one. That's a zero. Oh, I still taste soap. That's two out of ten for me. So far, I'm not impressed with any of the stuff. I know. So Poland, I what's up with you? I like that zebra uh, like ten out of wafer. 10 wafer. What is that now? That's Tasi Malekziko. Bite down on this decadent dark chocolate bar and treat your taste buds to the wonderfully sweet experience of a fluffy vanilla marshmallow surprise. So there's marshmallow. I'm gonna, I know what that tastes like, but I'm gonna let you decide. It tastes like something you've had before, and I like, but the generic version of that item. Let me give you a hint. Ikea. Yeah, those, um, well, excuse me for the term, but they call it nigger kisses. That's what they used to back in the day. They don't call that anymore. Yeah. I don't know what they call it now. But. Can I have some? It tastes like the generic version of that. Like the marshmallow is not like wet. It's normally moist and wet and soft. It's kind of dry. Like the one that you're talking about is more like egg white, like wet, and this is more like a marshmallow. You know like when you buy regular marshmallow at the store? Yeah. And the ones from Ikea, it's a different marshmallow, right? It's more like wet and moist. This is more like a marshmallow at the store. Yeah, to me it tastes like... Um... The chocolate smells and tastes cheap. Rocky Road, if you ever had those Rocky Road bars, mm -hmm. minus the peanuts. Yeah. So it doesn't have the peanuts. Just the chocolate. You want the rest? I don't like it. I like it because I'm, I'm a fan of Rocky Road. 
Mm-mm. It's an 8 out of 10 for me. I, I give that a I 0. I like the Rock and Roll bar a lot better. I give that a 1. The, then the chocolate tastes cheap. What's the next? These little fruit things. Wawel Fresh and Fruity. Looking for a delicious way to enjoy some fruity goodness. These chewy gummies are filled with sweet fruit jelly for a burst of freshness in every bite. Well, mm. they gave us. Three. Oh, actually, that smells good. Are they different flavors? I think so. Ooh, that reminds me of a candy I've had in Germany, and I just don't know what. Oh, there's different. There's filling. There's like a filling in there. Can you see that? It's like a yellowish color. Which one you want? It doesn't matter. Smells lemony. Mmm. Okay, this is weird. A part of me hates it and part of me likes it a lot. You know what it reminds me of? This reminds me of a Germany I've had in, a candy in Germany. Turkish delight. You ever had Turkish delight? That's mm. how it tastes like. Mmm. I like the filling. So I think I'll give it a 7 out of 10. What's the other one? I think I like the red part on the outside better and I don't like the lemony filling. I'm giving now though. Is it raspberry or what's I'm the giving that an 8 out of 10. What do you think is the, what's the filling? Lemon. The outside is raspberry and the inside, see there has a picture of a raspberry. Mm -hmm. There's orange, raspberry, lemon, lime. But the red... Um, the red was raspberry yeah, and the inside was was uh, lemon. I give that an 8.8. .8. I said 8. I'm going to forget that. I give that an 8.8 .8 out of 10. I like that a lot. And that raspberry, that reminds me of a German candy I've had before. Because I've had a lot of German candy. I lived in Germany for a long time as a kid. I don't remember all the stuff I had. I was a little kid. But this is like pure lemon. I'm probably not going to like it because I didn't like the raspberry filling. I would give that a 10 out of 10 if it didn't have that yellow uh, lemon filling. It was pure raspberry. That smells like pineapple and it looks like there's red. So it's probably pineapple with a raspberry filling. Raspberry again. Oh, it really smells like pineapple. Um, also, that first one, I, mean, I haven't reviewed this one yet, but that first one I just had the raspberry, it tastes very fresh. Like they're using really fresh, like real fruit. It, it almost tastes, tastes like, like pineapple. <laughs> no, these taste like they're like using real fruit. Mm -hmm. I like that one. It's also an 8 out of 10 for me. I like this one, but I like the raspberry better. Isn't that the same? Way better. Yeah. Yeah, they gave us two of the same kind. Mm -hmm. They should give us three different kinds. You know what? I don't like that pineapple one. I guess they messed up. Would I give the, uh, the first one the raspberry? Was it like an 8.8 .8 out of 10? Mm. I'm giving the pineapple like a 4 out of 10. I'm not, I'm not, I don't like it. It's 8 out of 10 for both. Chocolate bar. Jedina. Dark chocolate. Or Jedina, whatever. A secret family recipe and a selection of the best ingredients have kept this signature dark chocolate bar in production since it was introduced in 1851. Mm. I don't like the way this smells. You know that marshmallow one that I said mm -hmm. this from Ikea? It's the same. That cheap chocolate? That's what this what this smells like. It smells like that cheap chocolate. It looks like it has coffee in it because it's so dark. Does this have coffee in it? Is it even... Are the ingredients even in yeah, English it's, or it's in Polish? No, there's uh, multiple languages. It's, 
sugar, cocoa mass, fat reduced cocoa powder, cocoa butter, milk fat, emulsifiers, salt, flavoring, cacao solids, 50%, and that's it. And it looks and smells cheap. It smells cheap. I don't think I'm gonna like it. It's hell dark. Really bitter. Not bad. Not bad at all. If you're a fan of dark chocolate, I think you I am. Like now, if they would have made this a milk chocolate, I don't think it would be as good. But, even though I do like it, it's dark chocolate. Remember we had those chocolates from Trader Joe's? Mm -hmm. You could tell, like, re region it was. Like, this has, like, a floral, like, yeah. the different notes. Because it's single origin chocolate. And this chocolate, I like it. But I'm not getting a lot of notes. Like, it just tastes like... It's just plain dark chocolate. Mm -hmm. Like, I think that someone like this, they probably like... <coughs> just got the cheapest dark chocolate and put in a bar. Like, they didn't select a certain region that had high quality chocolate. Because I'm not getting any notes. The only thing I know that I am getting is maybe coffee. Yeah. Well, that's just the dark chocolate. It's, what would you rate it then? Uh, I think a 7 for me. Mm. A 5. A solid 5. Yeah. What is next? Cupid Waffle Rhizoe. These crispy, crunchy rice cakes are coated in a thick layer of decadent Belgian milk chocolate, making in the perfect snack to get you through a long day. Okay, first of all, let's rewind back. That chocolate bar, I'm only going to... The aftertaste, I'm getting a 3.7 out of 10. I'm not crazy about the aftertaste. And I taste like coffee, coffee, coffee. If you don't like coffee, you're not going to like that bar. Because some people like chocolate, but they don't like coffee. This stuff stinks. It stinks. Smell the bag. I don't want to say what I think it smells like. That smells like, like barn animal stuff. To me, it smells like fish food. That too. It smells like fish food. And like, like, like when you go to like a, a farm, like yeah. barn animals, like when you go in like with the hay and the, and the, mm -hmm. the chickens and all that, that's what, it smells yeah. like I'm going on a farm. I don't think I'm going to like this. So there's rice that nasty chocolate bar is still in my side, mouth. And chocolate on the other side. That, that chocolate bar, I'm glow. I, the, the more aftertaste I get, it tastes like coffee. It almost tastes burnt. That chocolate bar that I just had, I'm giving it a two. I didn't like, like that. This, so far, the chocolate from this Poland is not good. I'm not cruising by American mass produced chocolate, but. Not bad. The Rice Krispie tastes like it's roasted or something. Not bad at all. I mean, the chocolate is not very strong. I like Kinder Country better. Kinder Country, have you read Kinder Country? It's a chocolate bar and it has puffed rice in it. But I let you taste Kinder Country. Remember I bought it for you because you never had it and you said you didn't like it, right? You no. like this better than Kinder Country? I don't even remember how it tastes like. From Central Market. I like the toasted uh, flavor of the... The Rice Krispie. Mm. And it's so light. I'll get a 6.6 .6 out of 10. I'll give it an 8. It's very light snack. What is that? Oh, that smells old. What is that called? It's a caramel bar. 
Is that, that smells the rancid. Crow, that the crocoe. Mm hmm. Crocoe. This popular and luxurious milk chocolate bar has a deliciously creamy caramel center that will stick around in your mind long after the snack is gone. Mm. I'm still eating this. Why is it like this? I don't think I'm gonna like this because it stinks. It smells old. I'm so scared. It smells old. It smells like there's liquor. Yuck. That is disgusting. I'm giving that a negative 10. That tastes old. Like rotten not milk. Old. It's not old. It's like it's aged. Like, like I said, it, it smells like there's wine in it. Maybe there's liquor. There's a lot of ingredients. Oh, here it is: milk, chocolate, sugar, whole milk powder, cocoa butter, cocoa mass, vegetable oil, she fat, milk fat, emulsifiers, lecithins, natural flavors, glucose, condensed milk, vegetable fat. That's the condensed milk I'm tasting. Yeah. May contain hazelnuts. I don't see any liquor in here. I don't like that. You can have that, whichever. It tastes like that, though. The last thing. Is that the last one? That's the last one. So just the drink left. So far, I'm not impressed with these Wait, boxes. Wait, you haven't rated it yet, the Crocoe. This? What you rate it yet? Negative five. Negative, five. negative give, five. I'll give it a six. It's not bad. What's that drink called? I'm trying to Helena Oranzada. So I'm guessing it's orange. To no surprise, this delicious, refreshing, and bubbly orange flavored soda has been a favorite of all ages throughout Poland for years. I wonder if it tastes like Fanta. That doesn't smell like a regular orange soda. It smells very, 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 very artificial. It's completely clear. It's not even orange. What do the ingredients are? That smells artificial. Let me smell. I don't think it's even natural. Mm -hmm. It just is flavoring. That could be from anything. It is just water, carbon dioxide, acid regulator, citrus acid, and flavoring. That's not. That's not even. That doesn't even. I don't think it has that one natural flavor in it. taste the smell is like cough medicine tastes like cough medicine it tastes like a very light flavored cough medicine with fizzy water doesn't even, very light flavored cough medicine it but it tastes like cough medicine tastes like orange it tastes artificial like I'm eating some chemical or something that's a zero yeah I wouldn't drink that. I, I would. I rather have plain old water over that any day. Yeah, it's a one out of ten for me. It's like a water, and you put seltzer. <laughs> and this is what the. Well, I like that. That's kind of cute. But now, see here, it shows a bunch of snacks that we did not get. Look at those snacks. Well, you have to get the premium box. Oh, really? Yeah, we only got the the middle one. That looks like some potato chips. Aha! Uh -huh. yeah. Because there's a small box, uh, a medium box, and then the big one, which is the premium. Yeah, but I got a funny feeling I won't like these anyway. Yeah, so far... I'm sorry, but so far I'm not impressed with Polish snacks. Not but even. maybe they didn't give us the best uh, Poland has to offer. I'm sure there are lots of other snacks from Poland that are really good. I can still taste that nasty soda. So, yeah. So. Let me see what I liked on here. The only thing I like. So, my recap. favorite. Yeah, my favorite thing on here that I like was that, that fruity 
It's this thing. But I only like the raspberry on the outside. That was probably my most favorite thing. Then my second favorite was the zebra a wafer cookie. And then my third favorite thing was the other wafer cookie, the Prince Polo, which was still pretty good. And then everything else I wouldn't, don't like. No. Nope. Mm -mm. Let's see what my favorite is. That one that had the Crunch Bar and Twix cookie was just okay. It was it was pretty good. But those are the only three things I would get again. Those 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 jelly things that looks like this, but I will only get the raspberry one. And I didn't like the lemon f uh, filling. The zebra wafer was so creamy and so airy and light. And then the Prince whatever wafer with the chocolate was very, very, very decent. Decent enough to say I like it. So those are the only three things I would get again. The rest I could pass on and I wouldn't care about ever getting ever. Yeah, I think my favorite is the same as yours, the zebra. The Princess Zebra. And then the second will be... I actually like the... Um, the waffle with the Rice Krispie. Yeah, surprisingly, it didn't smell good at all. It smells like a barn. Yeah. Fish food, mm. but I like that the um, Rice Krispie tastes like it's toasted. That it's been toasted. Which I really like and the chocolate is really light so that's my second favorite and then the third one is the one that he didn't like the um, the one with the marshmallow because I like Rocky Road it didn't have the nuts but I still like it so all in all what would you rate it the Polish snack crate mm. I think I would give it a 4 out of 10. It's shutting down. <laughs> oh, sh why? Oh, I because never plugged he... it in.